Today we're taking a look at Amcor Technology Inc. or AMKR, a fantastic company founded in 1968 with a presence in the United States, Asia, and Europe. Uh, well uh, spread around geographically, very interesting company. Um, and as we gear up for that rebound in technology companies and for uh, everything that artificial intelligence is going to bring, the increased production in semiconductors, uh, namely for, for this company, uh, this is a great space not to ignore. So what does Amcor Technology do? Amcor is a strategic marketing partner for semiconductor companies, uh, foundries, original equipment manufacturers, uh, to be a key component for them. Uh, this is turnkey manufacturing services. Uh, they offer production facilities, R&D facilities, and development centers as they work closely with their client base. Uh, and this is, again, strategic manufacturing uh, and, and a, the leading U.S.-based OSAT, and that is the Outsourced Semiconductor Assembly and Test uh, provider. So very critical component. And this is not a small company, but it's a huge opportunity for us. And they have a global footprint uh, in China, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. They are expanding huge into Arizona with a new $2 billion facility, and then in Europe and in Portugal. So they really are a very well diversified player. Uh, they've recently increased their dividend again, and they've been doing that with frequency. So you'll, as you take a look at the fundamentals that we'll talk about soon, you're getting gonna get paid 1.7% dividend to hang on to your shares for that big rebound that we're gonna talk about. So again, global footprint, uh, Vietnam facility just opened in 2024 and it's, and it's up and it's producing. Uh, their a U.S. expansion with the Chips Act money, they've they received over four hundred million dollars in U.S. Chips Act money for a overall two billion dollar project that's going to that is going uh, up in Arizona. Again, this is for advanced semiconductor manufacturing, packaging, and testing and assembly. And what fills that facility up? Well, it's going to be work that they do with Taiwan Semiconductor, which is building a facility in Arizona and what as well and that they have a very close collabor collaboration with. Intel is out there, plus they are, they are in close communication and work with all the major companies in the semi space. So there's a lot of excitement and a lot of enthusiasm, and this should be up and running in about three years time. Lots of catalysts for Amcor technology, and again, it's everything artificial intelligence, which is gonna drive demand, and it's a US based, it's gonna have a huge US <laughs> supply chain component and uh, it, it's, it's, just, it's just a very interesting um, service that, that they're gonna be bringing. So let's take a look at the fundamentals and see where we are at. So as we take a look at the fundamentals for Amcor Technology, remember that they, ha they are, have a lot of interesting catalysts, not only uh, AI, but optimism is growing. Uh, for, for the company, they have had tremendous insider buying early in 2025. Five uh, insiders have purchased approximately $95 million in stock just in the first few months of, of the year. So you'll be investing right along with them. You're looking at a company with 4.75 billion in market cap. So sizable, but not extreme, especially when you consider this as a company with 6.3 billion in, in revenue and solidly profitable. Now revenue has kind of stalled out over the last few years as as industrial and automotive uh, needs have, have really waned, uh, but that's expected to make a rebound, and especially with more onshoring in, in the United States, provides huge uh, opportunities for a company like Amcor Technology. The price under $20 a share, right, about $19.30 a share, uh, that's down 25% for the year, and it's uh, year to date and down almost 40% over the course of a year. So that means you're buying at the low end of its range of between 1887 and over $44 a share. This is an opportune time to, to buy into a high quality uh, manufacturing company, uh, a leading OSAT, again, that's outsourced semiconductor, assembly and testing company. So it'll be a critical part of the overall supply chain in the United States and globally as well. The balance sheet is solid. They've, uh, they've got more cash than debt on the books. 
and it's very cash flow positive for, for the company, despite having massive outlays for expanding facilities and growing the, the company. Uh, analyst ratings on this company are looking for 50% upside in the stock in the next 12 months. And when you look out in the next two, three, four years, uh, analysts are calling for this to be potentially an 80 to $100 a share stock. All that said, I've begun wading in on Amcor technology. It's a great time to, to be acquiring and keep acquiring. Amcor technology is a great place to be. We'll talk with you again soon.